Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and I am back with The Darkest Dungeon. And I hope you guys are enjoying The Darkest Dungeon weekend. Um, this is episode two. I'm hoping that we're going to have a whole bunch of these episodes up for you guys over the weekend. So, and if, you ha if you're just tuning in with us now, I am away. Uh, so I won't be able to respond to any comments or if you wanted your name in the game. Unfortunately, I, I won't be able to add it for the weekend. I Well, I'm, I'm adding people's names, but I am just going through the list of names of the people that often comment in the chat. Well, not even often comment, just random names, just random names that I'm finding. So we are going to do that right now. We're going to, so our man at arms. So the man at arms kind of, is, he's, he's a buffer. He's he buffs the group. He does some damage too. He does decent damage with his weapons and stuff. And he's and he's and he's and he's tanky. So he's got good armor. But he's really good specifically at buffing. He's got this ability. Where is it here? <gasps> now they they don't always start with all of their abilities. All they start with a random four of the available ones that they can have. And it, does he? He didn't start with bolster. Oh no. <laughs> Bolster, I love Bolster, it's a fantastic one. But maybe we've got some, so this one will, so he can give somebody plus 10 accuracy, that's good. Um, he, uh, okay, so anyway, whatever, let's let's rename him. <sighs> I spend a lot, you know, I've spent a lot of time just talking about things instead of doing it. So we gotta, I gotta focus. Okay, we're gonna name him Tariq, after Tariq from the channel. You know who you are, Tariq. It's a good name for him. And then uh, the Hellion. I haven't played around with the Hellion too much, but they do. They have some good. They've got some stuff that causes bleeding. Oh, they've got the Barbaric Yomp, which which uh, debuffs people as well as stuns them. And she's got just some basic damage dealing stuff. And she's got some Blight Bleed Curing. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, she seems pretty. She's got another one. I like this one, Breakthrough. It does a whole bunch of damage to three people, the first three, and debuffs them. It's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Iron Swan. She can hit somebody in the back row because she's got the pole arm, right? She's she's kind of tanky too as well. Um, I don't know if she's as tanky as this guy. So dodge base five, HP base thirty one, uh, dodge base ten. So she's more dodgy and less tanky. So whatever. Um, anyway, so this is going to be. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be lap apps now. <laughs> Sorry, lap apps now. You're a girl. That's how it is. And we've got Warsi. I've never played with the Seeker Occultist. Well, I have. I've had one in my party for a short period of time before he died abruptly. So he is a. He, he fights in the back, and he does curses, which, um, let's see, debuffs target minus thirty percent damage. So causes the target to do thirty percent damage. That's good. Uh, uh, some well, heal bleeds. Ugh, another healing bleed guy. Ugh. You know, you don't want to have too many guys with the same abilities, you know, it's kind of silly. Um, uh, that one, he marks the target, gives them, debuffs them by debuffs their dodge, and does a little bit of damage. Ugh. And, oh, this is uh, terrible. We've got, honestly, and it's it's not that he's terrible, it's just he's, his starting skills are not that great. So, um, you know, he can clear all the cor corpses, that's that's good, but he's, he's really, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so uh, this is going to be... Ike Theodactyl. And I apologize if I spell somebody's name wrong. I'm trying to do my best here. All right, so we're good to go. And how I'm going to format these, I think, is we're going to do one, one, one mission at a time. Every time we do a mission, that'll be an episode. So we're going to send these guys out. Everybody else, uh, we've got these guys drinking and praying and all that kind of good stuff. The guys that really need to alleviate some stress. We're going to send out Mr. Pat again. Mr. Pat is in rough shape. He has the runs. <laughs> oh, he's in the bathroom. Anyway, it makes it so he's hard. He, he can't dodge well because his bladder's so full, and he has less hit points. Oh, and he's re and he can't hit anything if he's really stressed. So he's probably gonna die this round mysteriously. Okay, so now as you do missions, it opens up more and more missions, and I kind of like these these scout missions are usually the easiest to do because you don't actually have to hit all the rooms. You just have to hit ninety percent of the rooms. I don't know, it's, it's, it seems a little easier than the skirmish, but I don't know, skirmish you have to destroy all of the creatures in all of the rooms, but it, there could be creatures in only one room, so I don't know, it's, it's, it's a crapshoot. Just watch the levels and make sure, for now, we want to do short. Um, anything, if it's long, like medium means we have to camp, or we, we can camp, and camping is a good thing, but uh, I'm not ready for that. Uh, we need to do uh, just short missions for now, so we can get, oh, we got a goodie last time. Right, plus four dodge, minus 10% move resist. I'm gonna give that to Mr. Pat. 
If Mr. Pat dies, I believe we get that back anyway, just because Mr. Pat, <laughs> um, with his affliction, is he minus, minus 20? Oh, right, because he normally has plus 20 dodge. Uh, I think he normally has plus 20 dodge. Yeah. Oh, you can only have, you can't have less than zero dodge. I see, I understand. So that would be useless to give to him. That, that, uh, this thing would be useless, because if we give it to him, it's just going to give him minus 10% move resist. That means creatures can't move you from one position to another in your group, which is, it sucks when people move you. So this would be completely useless to him, because even with the plus four, it's still minus 20, whatever. So, uh, I don't know if that would really benefit somebody else. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe him? I don't know. I like the dodge, though. The dodge is good. Yeah, they'll give him 14 dodge. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll go with that. I have a bad feeling about this next mission. I just don't think it's going to go well. So we'll put our tanky tanky, the dodgy tank, uh, the halberder here. We're going to put our buffer second. We're going to put Mr. Pat third and Ichthyodactyl fourth. I think he's good. Yeah, he's good in the rear position. And she's really good as number one position. He's really good as number one to sometimes three. But one and two. He's, he's, normally with the, the skills he normally has, he's really good at position two or even behind because he just sits there and buffs and nobody can hit the group it's great but he doesn't have the the skill the skill that i'm talking about is bolster because you can you can double it up right every time every round if you keep casting this it'll give everybody plus five dodge and plus two speed if you keep casting that you know they get plus 10 dodge and then plus 15 dodge it comes crazy so anyway whatever he doesn't have that skill i'll have to figure out his skills as we go so i think we're good to go we're gonna go we're gonna go scout in the ruins and uh, try and get more goodies i have a bad feeling about this mission just because uh, Mr. Pat doesn't look that promising. Uh, we're only going to take eight food, one shovel. We're not going to take anti-venom. We're not going to take a bandage because I think we've got those skills in the group. We'll take one key, one holy water, and eight torches. I want extra torches this time, ten torches. Just because I have a feeling this is going to be tough and I want to be sure that we have a lot of light and... You know, more torches, the easier the battles are going to be, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, ready to go! Yay! Oh, I love this game, it's so much fun. Eventually, it just gets brutal. Like, and it, actually, the beginning is always, it's the hardest. Hey, Honestly, the once you get some characters higher level, it familiar. gets, it gets definitely, now, definitely gets easier. Boring. More interesting, for sure. Okay, here we go. Uh, what do we got? Alright, so this is the map, we have to discover at least 90% of it, so... We might as well check out this room first. We're going to do a little bit of backtracking. Uh, it's, it's stressful for guys to backtrack, but that's okay. Um, this way we don't have to backtrack all the way back. Um, I have a feeling we're going to run into traps here. Oh, no. We'll take this. Sacks are usually pretty safe. Sacks and crates, usually pretty safe. You get more out of them if there's less light, but oh, here we go. First battle. Oh. oh! Are you kidding? So they surprised us and mixed up our order. So in other words, all our tanks are at the back and our soft, squishy guys are at the front. Fantastic. We're hooped. We're toast, guys. We're, we're toast. <laughs> Did I mention this game auto-saves and you can't, you can't reload? Okay, so let's see. Uh, adrenaline rush so she can cure bleed uh, or she can cause bleed to one guy and do some damage. Okay, that's good. Um... Or she could try to move forward, which is probably a better choice. Yeah, no, I'd rather she just do damage. Do damage this round. Uh, so that's two damage for three rounds, and he's at five hit points. So he's dead in three rounds, but that's not good enough. So you don't have to move. You can just do your thing and great shot. Oh, nice. One down. Nice. Beautiful. We should have gone after this guy. He's the one that causes stress. Um, the man at arms can uh, he can guard allies, and he can also give people accuracy. So, so he will guard an ally. So, in other words, if somebody attacks this guy, I believe that he'll take the damage for it. So, yeah. So he's guarded by Tariq. So, yeah. If somebody attacks this guy, then he'll take the damage for it. I believe is how that works. So he's, oh, he still has the ability, he still has abilities he can use in position one. So he can do weaken, he can weaken somebody, give them minus 30 damage. I never use these guys, so I have to read through this here. Um, and he can do that right to the back guy if he wants. He can do that to anybody. 
Or he can do vulnerability, cause somebody to make it so it's harder for them to dodge, but he can't actually apply any damage. Ugh. Yeah, so that's minus 75% damage. This is minus 90% damage. So this one will do more damage and make it so that they do less damage. So we could do that. I guess. I only resisted it anyway. I, sh I should have had him move back, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. I think we're going to lose everybody here. Everybody's going to die. I, I just... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think positively, but... Looking at the stress level already, being surprised right off the bat like that was just brutal. It's also super dark. How did it get so dark? They must have done something to cause darkness. Okay, we're going to move him back. Okay, so now he's not in position one. He can't use Grave Shot, but that's okay. This is still pretty good. We need to get rid of this guy. He does a lot of damage. But he can't bleed because he has 200% bleed protection. So if you look there in resistances, he has 200% resistance to bleed. Um, I need to get this guy moving forward, but I don't know. I think we're hooped. I think we're hooped. Because if he moves forward, if I move him one forward, then she moves back one and can't do anything. Ah, at least, at least she can Confident surges as continue to attack at that position. I'm trying to find... Yeah, having, having, having them move all your characters around is the worst thing that can possibly happen almost. Um, okay, so now he can... He can pull... All right, so this causes 50% uh, damage. Can clear all corpses. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Yes, so that should clear all the corpses. Yes, so that moves him forward. Awesome. Make it easier for our guys to get to him. For example, her. Whack! Done. Oh, we're going to win this fight, I think. But, oh, oh he's stunned because, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. <gasps> Oh, look at the stress already. She's at 70% stress. And once he's at 70% 70, 70 stress, Such he gets less accurate. Great. Cannot be left unanswered. Yeah, he's... Oh, we're, we're so toast. And we have no way to heal our guys. So we could retreat. That's the other thing we could do. So we don't have to, you know... Uh, blight, bleed. She can cure blight or bleed. Or we can just move forward. I think we'll just move forward. I think we might be toast. <laughs> Uh, he could weaken. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I should have done the weaken on him. Oh, he resisted it anyway. <laughs> and you'll have battles like this where no matter what you do, you can't get it right. Um, I don't know. Nobody else has another turn this round. I guess we'll do another protection. Protection. I guess. Uh, and he's not attacking here. Him anyway. Uh, he's brutal. It wasn't that dark when we came into this room. They, 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 they cast something that made it dark. This game is so aggravating. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. These nightmarish creatures okay, can well, be we got some loot. They can now, be if we beaten. retreat, if, in other words, we could, we could abandon the quest and go back to the place, but we lose all the money we spent on all these supplies, so we don't want to do that. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, slightly ajar, ornate sar sarcophagus. Should be okay to just open it. Hidden treasures. Yay. <sighs> okay, that's a relief. Okay, so let's, uh, let's reorganize our group again. Man at arms goes here. And see, that can really mess up your strategy because characters can't do everything in every position. They can only do things in certain positions. And of course, Mr. Pat, I think Mr. Pat's probably going to get creamed here. All right, let's go back. That was, and look, creatures appeared all of a sudden right in front of us. The, I swear to God, this game decides. No, I don't. I don't like these guys. I'm just gonna kill them off. The light. Because the promise of safety. We're not gonna make it past the first little section here. <sighs> okay, so he can cure bleed and heal. What is? Oh, right. Okay, so this is actually a healing thing. So he can heal. He can z heal zero to ten. He can do heal up to ten damage, but it could cause him to bleed. There's a 59% chance of him bleeding, and does he have a resistance to bleed? Uh, so it's actually 19% chance of him bleeding if he heals. So, but that's totally worth it. Except there's a chance that he'll heal for zero. Are you kidding? Uh. <laughs> and actually, I was wrong. So he can heal. The, the chance to bleed is the person he's trying to heal. So whatever. All right. Whatever. Whatever. If everybody misses, it doesn't help. 
<laughs> oh, okay, so we're gonna do the romp here, and that does makes it so they do way less damage, and they don't dodge as well. It makes it, and they and they're stunned. Uh, they didn't get debuffed though. Oh, that causes her to get. It debuffs her. It just stuns them. Oh man, that's terrible. Okay, so Bello does a very little damage, but debuffs them. Makes it so they don't dodge as well, and they have less speed. But really, we just need to kill these guys. Sometimes you just gotta hit them. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> hit them! <laughs> Alright, let's try to heal again. That's always fun. Um, uh, we could try to... Oh, you can mark targets too, and sometimes marking does things depending on what kind of characters you have in your party. I don't think it would do us any good. Oh, he healed for two. Big deal. Oh, this is like the worst group ever. Can you see why this game is so frustrating? Like, the, the, it, the game, oh, he just moved his position to position two. Fantastic, that's great. Um, the game doesn't prepare you. Like, it, it, it doesn't, it's not forgiving at all. In other words, it doesn't, I'm gonna try this bellow thing and try and debuff him a little bit. There we go. Makes him a little less effective in combat. Um, so, uh, let's do the, the Yomta stuns him. Okay, so, he's bleeding. I can cure, she can cure her bleeding. That's, and heal one point, big deal. I think we just need to kill somebody. Let's kill, kill him. I don't like him. He's, he causes people to be stressed. All right, so uh, he's in position two, but he can do some damage in position two. So let's let's do that. So we can make it so that he does no damage to And this is the problem is, we, you know, the, the guys that showed up at the caravan are the, like the worst guys ever. Like this is the worst combination of people. Like not the worst, but it's pretty bad. We don't really have a good healer and I don't know. <laughs> But that's what makes this game fun, is that you never know, right? Uh, let's see. Let's kill that guy. Perfect. I should probably maybe just use the, the regular attack. Because these the undead guys can't bleed. This guy can, but the undead guy couldn't. Alright, so, and he, and even in this back position, can he do anything? Oh, he can track. No, he can't track. He can't do anything. So, let's move him forward. Ah, he can at least buff. Uh, we'll buff her <laughs> or protect her and uh yeah now he can attack there we go pistol sh no he can't he can do he can do this one there we go perfect all right um nothing comes cheap or easy in this game a trifling victory uh, we look at we haven't gotten anywhere at all and we're already like uh, mr pat's almost dead because he can't dodge that's part of the problem and everybody's so stressed that they're ready to go home already and we still have all of this to do. Are we hooped? I don't know. I don't know. Certainly is not an easy fight, is it? Already. All right, so I think we'll put, yeah, we'll put him back like that. Okay, so maybe your luck will turn. Maybe things will get better. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, we'll take heirlooms. All right, good, 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 good. Uh, we don't know what's coming, so maybe we should use a torch. Uh, yeah, we'll use the torch. Yeah, we want it nice and bright. Maybe we can surprise him? Nope. Didn't surprise him. Oh, he dodged? Oh, crazy. Well, he didn't dodge, but he missed. All right, so let's uh, let's see if we can continue to try to heal, or should we actually try to apply some damage? Um, this will make it so he does 30% less damage. Let's do that. Because he generally does a lot of damage, so that's probably a good thing. So this guy's really good at debuffing, I guess. That's his thing. That's what he does. So this will give them all less dodge and speed. So let's do that. Yeah, yeah. It's turning around, perfect. <laughs> this game is so, it's so brutal. You have to be a sadist and want to play this game. Like, grape shot. <sighs> right, because he's at, you know why? Because he's at 86%. <sighs> because he's got that disease that makes it so he gets minus 20 accuracy at 70, 70 stress. He's useless. He's absolutely useless. He can't hit a damn thing. Okay, uh, so uh, we can't cause bleeding, but at least we can hit this guy. Yeah, there we go. So, Mr. Pat, oh man, is there really a point in healing him? I'm not going to waste my time trying to heal him. I think we're just going to kill off this guy. 
he's pretty much useless. He does minus 60% damage now. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Just keep doing the oh, he hit! Oh, even with minus 20. Crazy. Okay, and he might as well just attack. Ugh. <laughs> Honestly, it gets better once you move up in levels. It does get better. It's, it starts out really rough, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's pretty rough. Okay, we'll stunned. That's good. At least we won't take any more damage, probably. We could probably just wipe it. Probably. We don't have a lot of good damage dealers here. I guess we could try to do some healing. There we go. Two points. Of course, if you can heal between 0 and 10, this game will make sure that you're always on the lighter side of that 0 to 10. It's just the way it works. It's it's pretty brutal. Oh, come on! Hit them! Um, hit! Thank you. <laughs> Even when you think you've got it, um, they still they, they screw you up. So this is his best hit possibility. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, so, and that's the thing with Grape Shot and stuff, you know, you think if you miss with one, you can still hit with the other two. No, if you miss with one, you miss with everybody. Might as well heal. And hit. Ah, he actually hit. Fantastic. We are being faced, like, this is this is brutal. This is just a, a, a low-level scout mission, honestly. So will it's brutal. Yeah, let's go. Still at 80% 80, 80 light. Okay, nothing in this room. Let's just keep moving. Look at, we still have all this territory to cover. Come on! Really? Uh, okay, uh, thank you, that's good. With, honestly, we're being faced with a lot of bad guys. There we go. Take care of one at a time here. I think that's the best way. Why are you, why are you damaged? Weird, must have been damaged before. Ah, there we go, nice. Nice and easy. This expedition and 17 more stress, and he'll go. He'll he'll possibly get an he'll go crazy. He'll go nuts. He'll get he'll get afflicted. These sometimes are good. Uh, small holy altar seems out of place against the background of corruption. These are usually really good. Pray at the altar. Soothing light uh, gets a buff. Plus 20% damage until camp. And considering we're not going to be camping in this one, that's really good. We need that. So those are usually really good, and that's trial and error, you know, just learning what's good and what's bad. Okay, so uh, we let the light fade too much. Uh, okay, so... Great shot! Oh, good, yay! Let's try... We try to heal. We could try to pull somebody forward, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, I think we just try to reduce some damage from somebody and do a little bit of damage ourselves. Debuff. There we go. 30% less damage. <laughs> and of course, he's the one that attacks and hits. Ugh. That's gonna push her back. No, because that's my damage dealer! Ah, oh, son of a god, that jump! I told you it was gonna be like this. I told you. So frustrating. So frustrating. Here you go. Here's the best buff you could possibly get. Now I'll put you in a position where you can't use it. <laughs> I think we can still use it, though. Um, okay, so this will keep up, everybody. This is brutal. Okay, so we can still hit. Uh, maybe we can eliminate this guy. Yes! Nice. She does a lot of damage. Just gotta have him in the right position now. Um, he can still grape shot or try and hit this guy. Perfect! Okay, so far so good. Okay, so she can still hit this guy. Awesome, fantastic. Things are in our favor all of a sudden. Pushes him back. <laughs> Make up your mind, where do you want her? Like, seriously. Uh, okay, so let's try to heal. Ah, seven points, fantastic. That's really good. Right, the healing can, the healing's what's causing the damage because there's a chance that they, they'll get bleed, they'll bleed as well. <laughs> Nothing's just good in this game. Everything always has a downside. Uh, he can't actually hit him from here. He can give somebody else accuracy though. Accuracy. Oh, it's that's to everybody. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's really good actually. That's a way better buff than what I thought it was. But in this position, he can't hit him. Are you kidding? Uh, we can mark him and do a little bit of damage with that track shot then. Oh, man, I think, oh, it gives him a buff too as well. It gives him more accuracy, damage, and critical po possibility. Okay, so that's good. 
Um, we can do a little bit of damage with this guy. Not enough, though. Oh! We can do this thing! The demons pull! So if we hit, it'll actually eliminate all these corpses. And pull him forward. Perfect! Yeah, so that's actually not too bad. I actually like that one, actually. It's pretty good. Alright, Waz Hack. Perfect. Ugh. Even with the bonus to hit, he still missed. Um, he can't hit from this position. We can get everybody more accuracy because apparently we need it. Oh! One point. But 18 points of stress. He's almost to his breaking point. Ah! Oh! Seems like I'm always on his turn. Okay, well, I guess... Accuracy. More accuracy. That next shot has got a hit, so plus... 36% accuracy. Hit him! <laughs> the buffs do carry over Remind to the next... Uh, oh, here's Uncommon. Oh, Highwayman only. Killer. Uncommon. Plus 8 dodge. Plus 2 speed. Minus 6 to accuracy. Minus... <laughs> that's great. And minus 10 to move resist. But still, dodge and speed. That's really good. And it's only good for the... Uh, it's an uncommon. That's pretty cool. Uh, long forgotten strong boss, six in the, sit the cold floor, contents, all right, uh, contents, yay, no, we didn't get destroyed by it, that's good. <sighs> this is so stressful. <laughs> so stressful! And look at, everybody's like running out of hit points, we still have so far to go, like we're hoop, there's no way, we, we're gonna probably have to abandon this quest. And that's okay, sometimes you gotta abandon quests. Really? How many fights have we had? Like, this is stupid. This might be it. I don't know if we can we can go any further. Oh, we forgot to change our order. Ah. Oh. And when you make a mistake, like, there's no forgiveness for making a mistake. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I think he... I don't know. No matter what we do, we're hooped. I think we just deal with it. Ah. I, I have a feeling, I have a feeling this, oh, oh, that was good. Good hit. So he's dead in two rounds. To break. We, we have no way to heal that. We have no way to stop her from dying now. Except for maybe, oh, he can be a healer. Maybe. <laughs> do we go on? Do we, do we try to continue fighting or do we, I think we retreat. Done. So now she's not losses, dead, but she is bleeding. So the only way to stop her from dying now is to abandon the quest, which means we leave with everything we we found, which is about uh, almost two thousand. Yeah, a little actually over two thousand gold, which is good. But we probably spent three to get here. But at least nobody dies, right? So let's abandon. And everybody will suffer uh, stress, <laughs> of course, <laughs> from the defeat. So failure tests the metal. Of heart, mind, and body. <laughs> Once your guys get up and level a little bit, it does get a little bit easier, I promise. Um, but to start out, man. Oh, here we go. <sighs> this is like Russian roulette. It's just terrible. And we got no experience. Oh, good. The Agu. Um, minus 10% damage, minus 3 speed, and minus 10% max HP. She got diseased. And she's also now light sensitive. Minus 10% damage if torch above 75. This is this is crazy. This is a bad game actually. All of a sudden, we're doing so bad. Minus 10% blight resist and plus 5 to dodge. Well, that's good. Um, awesome. And Ichthyodactyl. Oh, you're just tough. Plus 10% magic max HP. Fantastic. That went terribly. I can still see that was their awful. angry faces as they stormed the manor. Permanent negative quirks, yes. So before they found me. It is possible for and one the of these negative on quirks. I should, I should let him talk. I, I, you're missing out on some of the great content when he talks. I'm so, I apologize from now on. I'm going to shut up when he's talking because it's awesome. So Zofafura, um, so here's the log. Zofafura, who went and prayed, I think he was praying, observed unsavory activities and refuses to take part in organized prayer again. New quirk witness. However, oh no. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I thought he had still had the quirk where he had to pray, but now he can't pray. Okay, so we, he won't pray again. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> Miserable cuss. All right. Uh, what else happened? 
Uh, <laughs> Muriak is on a hot streak and refuses to leave the gambling hall. So our cleric just won't leave. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so we can't use our cleric this round. Fantastic. Oh, but our uh, our witch doctor, uh, True Blood, is, is has recovered some stress. That's great. And we can now use a blacksmith in the guild. Not that it matters. <laughs> can you see why? Like, honestly, we're, we're, we're hooped already. We cannot send out any of these guys that have ma all this stress. Like, they're, they're toast. Like, honestly, they're toast. We have to send them in to get healing and that's gonna cost money we're running out of money and we have nobody else to send out to, uh, i don't know we'll try to get more guys oh seeker uh, crusader they're awesome of course arm that's good by holy that's purpose. really good okay and the leper is good warrior. we have an occultist uh what skills does he have abyssal artillery oh that looks really good so it can do damage at range bonus damage versus eldritch well, that's good. That's that's a really good skill, Abyssal Artillery. We can actually get that skill for ours, but we need to do that in the guild, and that costs money. For example, we have access to the guild now. So we can actually Make send no our mistake. current occultist in. We will face ever greater threats. And you can upgrade our skills that you already have. Be ready. I, I, sorry, I gotta let him talk. I, I apologize, I apologize. Please don't yell at me for that. <laughs> so, um... You can upgrade skills eventually. Uh, once you upgrade the guild, you can upgrade the guild and then unlock... New, uh, upgrade skills that you currently have or you can unlock skills that uh for example that skill we were just looking at in that uh occultist that we can get this one here for a thousand we can get that same skill for our guy uh, we can't afford to do that right now can't afford to do anything and then of course the, the bellows bl blast once again the forge stands ready to make weapons of war <laughs> love his voice um the blacksmith um uh, obviously, you can buy new weapons and armor, but you have to upgrade the blacksmith before you can do that. And that costs what? Well, uh, these sigils and everything and money and all that good, good stuff. So whatever, we can't do any of that. Right, right now, we just need to survive because we have to go on another mission. And we have to have four people to go on a mission. So I think we just take everybody we can, except we can only have one more people in our group. The leper is actually pretty good. The leper is a big tanky guy. And he's got a big broken sword. And he's awesome. And he can do... Uh, some cool stuff. Oh, we can heal. This this particular guy has a skill so that he can heal himself and buff himself, which is cool. Um, and he can debuff some guys and do some bulk damage, which is good. So yeah, we'll definitely take him. We'll put him up top. Now we actually have our rosters this now. This man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. <laughs> I don't know why he's called a leper. He must he must have leprosy. That's weird. But he's he's tough. He's tough. Like he's very tanky. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I'm feeling the stress of this game already. My last game went so much better. This one is going really poorly. So I have to think of the next round. So let's get anybody resting that we need, that we can. So Tariq, uh, so of course we can't use her cleric yet. Hopefully she'll be ready next time. So we have no way to heal in this next round. Unless Demores comes with a healing. Oh, he did come with a healing spell. Okay, good. Or a healing skill. Okay, so awesome. Uh, Zephyra, Zephyra doesn't have a healing skill but this guy does so we have one healer we're gonna be able to take along uh two tanks two tanks our witch doctor and i don't know who else honestly i don't know what to do unless we can bring another guy along maybe we can unlock okay so yeah we can make our so roster bigger so we, we can increase the size of the roster which means we great can take heroes can too. be found even here <sighs> it's the only thing we can do in otherwise we're taking all stress rain. guys so that's usually what i do is i try to figure out who i'm going to be bringing for the next round before i figure out who's going into rest and stuff so i think we'll send uh mr pad into rest i guess <laughs> well, the episode's over. I'm just trying to figure out. Uh, so he's not allowed to gamble. So that's the only thing that he can't do. He can't gamble. So we will send him in to go have a beer. Oh, and then the guy that's managing your estate, he will go in and use the, the facilities as well so that you can't. Son of a... Uh, just... Uh, okay, whatever. Whatever, dude. Okay, so we're going to send him in to go meditate. Can we upgrade the... Yeah, we can upgrade the uh, stress recovery. Uh, or maybe we should send him in to go pray. Doesn't seem like praying type, Mr. Pat. But we'll send him in to go pray. 
And uh, we're gonna send in Lapaps now to go meditate. I don't think he had any restrictions. He's a mankind hater. <laughs> Gives him stress resist versus human and damage versus human. He's also a Thantiophobic, Thantiophobic which is minus 20 stress resist if HP, if hit points are less than 50%. And he's light sensitive. That's great. Oh, Lapaps now. Okay, so we'll, we'll send you in to go pray. We'll increase the stress recovery of that. And that's going to cost money. We've got to save at least 5,000, I think. Uh, and Ichthyodactyl. Um, dark Tech temp Temptation, prone to investigating the dark arts. Oh, that's all right. Believes, in believes he is possessed by demons. And this little skull means that that's a permanent effect. It would cost us money to remove that. Uh, okay, otherwise they rotate through the effects. Um, he's also robust, natural swing, and tough. I actually like him. I like Theodactyl. He seems like a he's going to be a winner in our group. Um, so we could send him in for self-flagellation, self or the brothel, um, which is usually really good at recovering stress, but it's really expensive. Or we could send him in for self-flagellation. He seems like more of a self-flagellation kind of guy. Kind of a darker guy. Okay, so we're going to sell, sell, but it costs more money. These, the one on the bottom always costs more. Can we upgrade it? No, we can't upgrade it. So there we go. You're beating yourself. Fantastic. <laughs> Some people find that stress relieving. I don't know. That's not me. Um, I think we're ready to go for next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you're enjoying the series. I won't know until I get back from my little mini vacation. But uh, yeah, anyway, talk to you later. Take care.